so today I'm gonna show everybody in our first edition of Gaming Grammar how it is I basically hack the matrix and get all these fucking headshots. So my first two days I haven't been worried about my KDR, but I'm worried about is like learning positioning and timings. So here's my headshot ratio. An idea of what we're dealing with. So my first couple of weeks, I really just want to see map timings, arrival timings, my game mechanics, and I pretty much figured out as much as I could in three days. So I want to talk to everybody about how I do setups and how I would coach. Hopefully, it'll help everybody. Alright, so... Valerie. Oh, you can see the new skin that I got. Uh, an expert. I modded it up with basic stuff. I changed the site because the site just looks cooler. I happen to think the other site's a little more functional, but I got used to it. This matches the gun and looks better on the stream, so... Hot stuff, hot stuff. Alright. So this is Gaming Grammar 101. Most people don't know how to set the sensitivity. Um... Well, that with the top of the grip, you hold the mouse. And mouse, I want to get the mouse pad. The palm of your hand should never touch the mouse. Okay. Um, a lot of people will palm the mouse and slap it down. It's really bad because it doesn't get you know, sensational. Right? If you have a claw grip, whatever grip you use, it's not really an issue, but um, definitely don't put the palm on top of the mouse. It's a really bad thing to do. I personally rest my heel. About two three inches away, it's over the space. But uh, like a cup. Grab your mouse with these two fingers. Like. When you set your sensitivity up in any game, your mouse pad, you should only be using about 75% of the mouse pad area. And put your mouse in the center. My mouse right now is dead center of the mouse pad. I'm gonna line my mouse up even. One stroke, right side uh, from center to the right, could be a 90 degree angle. Okay? And to the left. 90 degree angle. This way I know that my aim is to be consistent throughout FPS games. A lot of people will be switching games and they will screw up They go back and forth and they can't be consistent. They have no measurement, right? Um, mouse movement should start from the elbow. Big movement for a swipe. Right? Middle movements of the wrist and then small articulations with fingertips so the pinky, ring finger and thumb. So let's see, we had a list of stuff to go for you guys to make sure I don't go off track. You know, I normally bullshit like a motherfucker, so I try to stay on track today. Maybe we went over sensitivity. So basically, the reason why you want that 90 degree angle is because if you're rushing a corner to check whole no man's land or domination point, when you walk to a room, that corner angle, I want to be able to whip in and check the corner angle. Okay? So if I'm running into a, like a, whatever, like say like a new map, um, hold. You come out of spawn, the guy can be in this corner or in this corner. How the hell do I get there? Okay? So, you'll see people, oh, but my want might to be like really sensitive, you know, I want to be slow so I have like uh, accuracy, and they move like this, and then they get wrecked from the sides. It's really bad. If your mouse is too shaky, you can't hold it down. So, there you go. Um, after you get that down, what you should do is try to step and keep your mouse on the guy. Stay on more than 50% of the time in a moving situation, you're good. Change your sensitivity is pretty on point. Okay? And then you're good. Alright, so then we'll work on the aim training for there. Um, crosshair alignments. So most of the time when you're using a crosshair, like what part of the crosshair do you use? How do I get the headshots? I'm actually using the bottom, the top, Ah, the top of the bottom crosshair, if that makes any sense. So I'm using the bottom line, the top of it. Now, I take the side angles, and then I align that with the head. The top crosshair, like the very top line, I only use that if the guy's undercover. So for instance, if the guy's head's peeking out, I'll use the top line, but it's really just an alignment thing. For the most part, for me, that top line of the crosshair doesn't even exist in my mind. So I'll align my flat lines of the crosshair up to an angle, that's it. 
That's how I do it. Okay, where are we at? Okay, so doing uh, recoil control. So basically with recoils, in general, every game mechanic will be different, but the same thing applies always. Recoil always goes up first. Okay, um, in Counter-Strike specifically on like an M4, you have five bullets, so it'll be straight. And then the sixth bullet starts to like move up and down and stuff like that. So, in general, say sit thing down, the crouch button will help you a lot. If you just want to be lazy, that's a very easy way to just spray somebody down. Count to, count to three and then just hit. Okay? You're definitely guaranteed to get a hit. Single tapping. This is something called dynamic crosshair. You see the crosshairs opening back and forth. You can actually start to learn the timing of when the crosshair open cuts. You seem to do a lot of tap shooting. Tap shooting is really just to like kind of hack the game mechanics. Okay? That's all it is. You should never be throwing more than a two shot burst through the M4. Okay? Stupid. Because it takes too long and the third bullet's gonna be so far over the guy it's gonna make a difference. Okay? Hi hun! Pity's going out for the Red Bull run. We gotta have bull penises to hack our, our minds and our bodies. Hopefully they'll sponsor us soon. Alright. So tap shooting, burst fire, and spraying. So my spray control, how I do it in Counter-Strike is the same I'm doing it here. Is basically what I'll do is I'll count the first three to five bullets and then I, I pull I sit down and then I pull diagonally to the left 10 degrees. And I should reload before I fire. Okay. Once you five, once you do five, once you do five, you can pull down like that. But I generally will pull down and sit. Okay, so it's pretty good for just a random spray. Imagine aiming, okay? And you can see that I'm hitting the guys. Um... This way, so now, what you'll see me doing a lot in a pre fire situation is I'll do a we'll call volleying, but I'll just throw a shit ton of bullets into an area. So, in the next video, I'm gonna do map-specific training with, like, angle isolations and how to do pre-firing and how to, like, do, like, a volley. Basically, like, I'll count off how long the guy takes to walk into a certain angle, and then I'll start sending out bullets a quarter second before he gets out there. So he has to walk into my bullet. For instance, this guy over here that's running away, right? I don't want to have to trace him. What I want to happen is he's going to run into my crosshair. I'm going to wait for him to come and start sending him out bullets. He runs into it. I don't do any work. Cool? Alright. Um, shooting on the move and the break step. I don't know if they give me more ammo, so I'm gonna have to restart this. Like, when we get... Or maybe I should have wasted the bullets to see if they gave me more. Either way, I get to look at my cool stuff again. We brought the sound. All right. So there's something I like to call the break step. Strafing is when you're moving left to right. Obviously, you see the cross here is big and fat. You're gonna have shitty accuracy. In any game, I do not think they'll ever be able to correct this. It's a big secret. The break step is basically. The computer sees you saying plus left 100, and you tap right and let go of left, and it says plus right 100, and then stop. 100 plus negative 100 equals zero, and your crosshair will slap shut. Okay? That's called the break step. See, look at that shitty ass, whack ass recoil, and then watch when I do that step. Fitting, step, fitting, step. So you can see a big difference when I hit the key correctly. You might even be able to hear me slapping my fat ass hands on the fucking table. That's how I'm doing it. So the break step is something you should practice. Just align your crosshair, get to a guy's head, stop, tap. And stop, tap. Stop, tap. Stop, tap. Stop, tap. Okay? And that warm up, this is exactly what I do to warm up, so I know that I'm on. In this game we have the iron sight, thank god, so I can like toggle back and forth between the iron sights or the scope. Keyboard setup again. Um, strafe shooting. Depending on the gun, strafe shooting can work. You, know, you can just keep tapping. Now, if you want to do a test real quick, see how many bullets take to kill somebody in the chest. Be in the chest with the M4. So I don't need to be too greatly accurate in a strafe. I can just be tapping and sending a volley. And as long as in the general direction, I'm going to get some kills, so I'll be alright.
That's volume. Always tap or two shot first. Don't just unload your clip on the move. That's fucking stupid. So I know it takes three shots to kill a guy, right? It takes three shots to kill a guy. Why am I unloading a fucking clip? Let me send three sets of three at him. No, it's sets of two. So two 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 shot bursts is probably better than two three shot bursts in my opinion. Um, circle strafing. This is a little more advanced. This comes from my uh, um, Unreal Tournament Quake days, and I've been using this since well, Kitty. This when you see her running around like a maniac shitting on people. This is why my wife does this. You want to do a diagonal step. So I'm going to step and then use my mouse to go in a circle. I'll use the diagonal keys like uh, my WASDs, <laughs> W and A and W and D, and I'll go in a circle around the guy. So I'm basically circling the middle of the map. And a lot of people can't handle that when they see you come out in a circle on them. That's a cool little trick. Um, that's about it for the basics. see me warm up. Um, if you know you have any questions, now's the time to ask. Come to the Discord. Um, I'll help you out. Tomorrow we're going to go over map timings and like basically how to clutch, you know, isolation, things like that. If you play and doing like free fires, people say, oh my god, he must have an aimbot. This is why people think I have a fucking aimbot. And don't mess with my waz, these children, alright? Um, the pistol is actually a lot more effective than people think it is. What I found is treat it like it's uh, Counter-Strike. Don't use the iron sight. Kind of a waste of time. Two shots in the head. One, two, three, four, five, six in the body. Basically, the M5 is basically um, a 5.7 in Counter-Strike. Uh, the range isn't horrible. It's actually useful, but you really gotta deal with the damage cross here and know that you're gonna have to reset your aim. Okay? Sitting down will bring the crosshairs a little better. See? I sit down, the crosshairs shut. Cool. Alright. Um, what else was there? I think we covered all the basics for today. Went over how to set your mouse activity, um, grippings, the basic mouse movement, cross alignments. Oh, this is a little more advanced. When you're trying to scan a corner, you should be trying to think about what is going to be easier for me to move my mouse into. So, for instance, should I have my cursor on his body and move up, or should my cursor on his head and move down? And the answer, believe it or not, is always start from the top down, even though your recoil goes up. There's a couple of reasons for this. One is because obviously I'm countering the recoil. If I have to pull my mouse down while the recoil is going up, again, it's that break step effect, it's zero. But it looks like I have no recoil. I'm actually pulling down on top of his head and giving him a fucking haircut. Does that make sense? Alright, cool. The next thing is, it's a physical, physiologically, it's a lot easier for you to make a movement with the hand down towards your body to push up. A lot easier to pull something towards you than to push it away. So, when I'm checking an area, and this is going to like lesson two tomorrow or next week when we get to it, you clearing near to far, top to low, near to far, top to low. And you just go back to my highlights, you're gonna watch me in a room. My crosshair will always be flat onto a level where I think a developer made what I call the brick. Um, games are made in units, square units. As you can see, like this box is basically a unit height. So that box right there, basically a, a height of a unit. And the game is built in squares. So that would be a headshot most games. You'll find the dividing line kind of like a, another game hack, and I'll use my flat side of my crosshair, the horizontal, to line up to that. So you'll always see me looking at the wall. Why is he doing that? That's why I'm doing it. So I'm already, half my job is done. Now as I come into a room, then the room is this way, I'm gonna go from my near corner to my far corner, right? And I'm gonna go top down. Never wanna go down up. I don't say never, but 90% of the time, top down, okay? And, top down my two one. Man, this is a lot easier to do this than that, okay? To move the mouse this direction is always more difficult for you. It could be done, but it could be a lot worse. I have to even change my ripping to make it feel right for a one tap. Yeah, you can do some like spray control, but we're just talking about statistics. statistics. I'd rather do this movement than this movement. See, even me trying to get back up there is, doesn't feel as good. I mean, I can do it. But I'm sure if there's a reaction time test, it'd be a couple milliseconds behind, so I wouldn't advise it. 
All right, so that's the first edition of Gaming Grammar with Syntax. Uh, hope we get rid of the errors and start smacking little noobs. Enjoy the game. I'm going to restart the stream and uh, so we can change the title. I'm um, probably going to make the public server later, I guess? No, we'll do the public server first. We'll do the dives tonight. So thanks for sticking around. Um, enjoy the highlights. Show your friends and tell everybody that we're doing the giveaways this week and next week. 250,000 GP, 10 booster packs, uh, a bunch of other stuff. The wifey, El, you know, El Manager, be doing that for us. You get more than a gold star tally. You get like, you're gonna actually. The, the bot says you and uh, Mr. Canadian Bacon, Canadian Bacon on Twitch over here are tied as of now for the win tonight. So we may have to give out two prizes. There'll be a half a million GP in one shot. Oh, okay. Yeah. See what happens. See what else comes in. And thanks for watching. We'll be back on in about 60 seconds.